two worms standing one quick kills now. Two of them. Uh, so you can see for the double cocoons, uh, we cannot unravel it, but we uh, stretch the silk over here. Stretch. You can see uh, she uh, she tears the cocoons. She takes the worms out, and then uh, she is going to stretch the silk over here. How many cocoons does it take to make a jacket? Oh, uh, about uh, more than uh, ten thousand. More than ten thousand. Yeah. Look. Stretch. Wow. Yeah, you can see the silk, it doesn't break uh, because the silk is uh, elastic, flexible. So we, we do it step by step. This is the first step. And then uh, she uh, keeps stretching the silk over here. Yeah. And eventually we get the silk like this. So this is uh, for making the quilt blankets. So this uh, silk is a very, uh, yeah, you can feel that. It's very soft. Yeah, very soft. And then, uh, yeah, very soft. So this uh, material is uh, is soft. It's soft, and it's a very, uh, it's a very strong. I mean, it's strong enough to make the parachute. Even a parachute, it contains silk. Silk parachute. Yeah, but in our silk factory, this is for making a quilt blankets. And uh, by the way, I want to tell you uh, something that the worms there in China is a special food. It's a kind of a, uh, ethnic food. I mean, in China, on, on, I mean, uh, uh, only a few small groups of people uh, they try to eat the worms. Well, it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of a snack. So those people they fry the worms. Fry. Yeah. Have you had one? Uh, I tried it once. I tried it once. You see, it's not a Shanghai diet. It, it's it's, it's, a, it's a, in the other. Uh, area, you know, the other district. Yeah. What do they taste like? Uh, well, uh, you know, to those people, they fry worms, so it, it, it tastes like a peanuts, the, the pistachio. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're nutritious, for yeah. 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 Take my word for it. <laughs> you should take my word for it. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have this silk. Okay, over there. Okay, okay, over there. Okay.